हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट यूज्ड फॉर रिप्लेसमेंट थेरेपी राइट सो अस द हेडिंग इंडिकेटिंग दैट देयर आर इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स व्हिच कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर द रिप्लेसमेंट और द व्हेन द पर्सन और द पेशेंट विल बी रनिंग विद द डिफिशिएंसी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स राइट सो व्हाट एवर द मेजर एक्स्ट्रा एंड इंट्रासेलुलर इलेक्ट्रोलाइट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इफ द देयर बैलेंस विल बी इंबैलेंस और दे विल बी लैकिंग बिहाइंड दोस इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स person needs to the electrolytes uh, uh, for the replacement okay so the main purpose of the electrolyte therapy is to overcome the electrolyte imbalance right so this is the electrolyte it is something which can cause the imbalance because of so many reasons right that we are going to discuss and uh, uh, the purpose is also to restore the composition of body fluid and the body volume both right body fluid composition of body fluid may be calcium potassium magnesium uh, sodium and all those things and at the same time volume that's what we have discussed like uh, 56% of the body uh, it will be having fluid right so that's what uh, the volume is also important right and it is only it it, it, it is also indicating the uh, overall body weight okay so uh, what are the conditions like imbalance condition when we talk about uh, it may be because of diarrhea right so diarrhea is the something whenever the uh, dehydration taken place like because of the loose motion or because of the uh, contaminated food if you have consumed and there will be no digestion so obviously the person will undergo for the water loss and uh, there will be the di diarrhea condition second one is the vomiting right so same condition whenever contaminated or deteriorated food if you consume uh it will not be able to digest and you have to vomit like because of the chemoreceptor trigger zone activation and uh, there also dehydration also it may occur then uh, uh, again the dehydration because of cer uh, certain uh, case like maybe uh, in the summer also dehydration it is taken place or maybe because of uh, so many other reason also uh, uh, body undergo on, uh, water loss and uh, that will be again problematic and the prolonged treatment whenever any person or any patient will be uh, undergo for prolonged treatment long term treatment continuous medication uh, there also there, there will be the dehydration that's what you might be seeing in the hospitals they will be giving the saline for long time and the saline will be go on continuously because if you are admitted for the fever or any other infection purpose or whatever it may be so in that case uh, uh, imbalance condition it may occur where the person will go un undergo uh, the lack of electrolytes uh, sodium potassium magnesium calcium chloride etc right so there are three compounds used for major source of electrolytes right so uh, what are those three compounds so, so these are the three compounds we can say here right the first one it is the sodium chloride nacl potassium chloride kcl and uh, calcium gluconate right so these are the three component or compounds uh, which can be used for major source of electrolytes or to uh, to make the balance of the electrolyte so let us discuss one by one uh, the first one it is the sodium chloride right so when we talk about the sodium chloride uh, it is having uh, its own profile so that we have to write in the exam also right so coming to the first one sodium chloride nacl right so when we talk about nacl the molecular weight it is uh, 58.44 okay and uh, we have to write about synonyms so what are the other names of sodium chloride so uh, rock salt it is also known as table salt uh, it is known as common salt etc so these are the other names or synonyms coming to the method of preparation how we can prepare the sodium chloride so there are two methods so we can obtain it from the natural source and we can also prepare in the our laboratory so uh, in the natural source uh, uh, we can get it from the rock salt uh, uh, the starata right and uh, from the sea water also it can be obtained by the filtration process and the evaporation process right and uh, coming to the laboratory techniques uh, we have to, we, we are going to obtain it by acid base reaction for example it's acid means hcl base means naoh when we will react these two uh, na and cl will form and uh, at the same time so h2o h2o water is going to produce okay coming to the different properties like for example physical property when we talk about so uh, physical property of uh, particular uh, nacl it is a uh, white anhydrous crystalline solid right it is solid almost all the compound which we are going to discuss these are solid odorless salty taste soluble in water but insoluble in alcohol remember this point right 
uh, generally the things will be soluble in alcohol but insoluble in water but here the case is soluble in water but at the same time it is insoluble in alcohol 0.9 percent of sodium chloride is isotonic that's very very important right it is has it uh, before also we have discussed uh, like 0.9 percent of sodium chloride it is isotonic which will be compatible to the blood okay now coming to the uh, chemical properties so when we talk about the chemical properties so it may it will be having its own uh, reactivity or uh, chemical property things which we are going to discuss here right so when we talk about the chemical property of sodium chloride uh, uh, sodium chloride will react with the uh, silver nitrate and it will going to form silver chloride and uh, sodium nitrate right so this is one factor the another factor under chemical it may also react with the sulfuric acid h2so4 and it will form uh, hydrochloric acid gas and uh, sodium bisulfate right so this is the things so coming to the assay we have to assay that whenever the sample we are getting we need to assay it so when when we are assay a the argentiometric argentiometric titration it is there right for that uh, what is argentiometric titration it is determination of chloride ion by the action of silver ion right so what we do in this assay first we will take the one gram of sample which sample we want to assay it for the presence of the sodium chloride 50 ml of hydro, uh, water we have to dissolve that in the stoppered uh, uh, conical flask then uh, 3 ml uh, nitric acid 5 ml nitrobenzene and uh, 3 ml uh, 0.1 normal silver nitrate we are going to take and uh, indicator uh, we are adding 2 ml of ferric ammonium sulfate it is indicator and this we have to titrate with the solution against 0.1 normal ammonium theocyanate solution remember um, um, we have to uh, titrate against a uh, 0.1 normal ammonium theocyanate so we are going to get the we can estimate the presence right coming to the uh, use uh, what are the different use of uh, sodium chloride uh, so it is having its own physiological role uh, say for example it is used uh, uh, electrolyte the repellencers right means replacement of electrolytes obviously sodium is having major role into the physiological balance right and 0.9% uh, of solution is isotonic solution we have discussed in the property also right Be uh, what is isotonic means same osmotic pressure as blood so it is compatible with the blood that's what uh, in normal saline sodium chloride are, uh, they are giving okay then uh, it is also test enhancer and uh, uh, in the weight dressing surgical dressing it will be useful and uh, it is also useful in the irrigation of body cavity different body cavity also we can irrigate by the sodium chloride solution right so it is having huge uh, and important roles uh, in the uh, field of uh, medical right now coming to the second one uh, which we can use as a uh, replacement therapy in the uh, whenever the person will undergo the deficiency of electrolytes or loss of water the, that is the potassium chloride KCl right molecular weight is 74.55 uh, where we can uh, use the synonym for this potassium muriate and the potash muriate right these two are the other names of potassium chloride when it comes to the preparation it can be obtained by mining process and uh, followed by extraction okay and it, it also can be extracted from the barine it is salt water okay and uh, uh, in laboratory we can obtain it from uh, by uh, the potassium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid when they will react uh, uh, by the removal of by the uh, uh, water molecule like h2o and the kcl it is going to form right so this is the chemical uh, this thing uh, preparation method and coming to the physical property of potassium chloride it is white crystalline powder same like a sodium chloride odorless but a strong saline taste it will be having a strong saline taste and the same like sodium chloride it is freely soluble in water whereas insoluble in alcohol right coming to the chemical property uh, we can use it uh, for chemical uh, property uh, it can be uh, sodium chloride can react with the sodium ion and uh, NaCl is going to form by the forming of potassium okay uses when we talk about uh, it is electrolyte uh, repellencer same like a sodium chloride uh, it can uh, manage the ph buffers it will be used in the ph buffers and also in the preparation of different fertilizers explosive items like maybe and uh, for the potash uh, potassium metals we can prepare and potassium hydroxide can be prepared it will also be useful into the medicine and uh, food processing 
method okay and the last one and uh, important that is the third uh, uh, electrolyte which can be useful for the uh, replacement therapy that is the calcium gluconate right the formula is c12 h22 cao14 molecular weight is 430.37 different synonyms we can use for uh, calcium gluconate is calcium d gluconate then uh, calcarea gluconica then calci gluconas calcium salt uh, it also known as uh, d gluconic acid Preparation when we talk about uh, by the D glucose we can prepare in the presence of sodium uh, Br and uh, calcium carbonate uh, calcium uh, gluconate can be prepared uh, when we talk about the property it is same like a sodium chloride and potassium chloride white crystalline granules or powder odorless tasteless that is what uh, it will not be having saline like taste just like a uh, sodium uh, potassium chloride uh, solubility is also same uh, soluble in water but insoluble in alcohol and organic solvents right it will be insoluble in alcohol and organic solvents right uh, when we talk about the use of uh, sodium gluconate uh, sorry calcium gluconate uh, it is also having the different use for example uh, electrolyte repellenture same we have used for the other two uh, electrolytes right in hypoglycemic condition it can be useful and uh, uh, it will be low calcium level those who are suffering from low calcium level or calcium deficiency uh, for example bone loss or weak bone or hypoparathyroidism or maybe in muscle disease it can be useful uh, it also functioning the nerves it also functioning the cells the muscles and uh, it will be useful into the different disease right so these three are very very important those are uh, comes under the what you call compounds or the uh, components which can be useful into the uh, replacement therapy those are the so potassium uh, sodium chloride potassium chloride and uh, calcium gluconate right so it can be asked for 10 marks uh, in the exam so you can write uh, all the three uh, form three compound for the profiles uh, their use and uh, properties thank you